The Chinese EV market is slowing down, with the growth of the segment that's nowhere near what it was just a year ago. But things are way more complex than they may seem at first because it's not just about EVs. The entire Chinese economy is slowing down, which indicates a long and painful struggle for numerous Chinese EV makers. Will the Chinese EV industry collapse? Stay with us and find out the top 5 reasons why everyone is in panic mode as the Chinese EV auto industry is in horrible shape after the market meltdown. Number 5. Chinese economy slowed down. As we've just mentioned, the EV slowdown is part of a much bigger problem. After a few decades of impressive growth, the Chinese economy seems to be at its peak and there's no room for further advancement. Days of skyrocketing are behind China and now the ongoing problems with the aging population, things seem to be going in the other direction. With high unemployment rates, the Chinese government has a big problem boosting consumer spending, especially after the fall of the real estate sector, which is certainly the biggest struggle at the moment, considering that real estate was the number one investment sector for a vast majority of Chinese citizens. Furthermore, the government has also taken action to add liquidity to its banking system as well as to boost its lagging stock market. According to research firms like Capital Economics, there is no reason for much optimism in the near future as China's economy will most likely grow 4% in 2024, though it does predict some results from the government's stimulus to spending, which should positively contribute to the economic growth. But that change won't happen overnight. The consolidation process will take years and meanwhile, EV companies continue to struggle. Just in the last quarter of 2023, companies like NIO reported a net loss of over $600 million. Xpeng also recorded a massive loss of $500 million in the same quarter. The cases of profit are still extremely rare, especially after the price war started, and Li Auto was one of the rare companies to record a profit of $385 million in the third quarter of the last year. With the Chinese economy showing clear signs of slowing down, it doesn't surprise either that the peak of the automotive market market is also behind us. The best year in terms of sales numbers was 2017, when the total market size was 24 million new vehicles. Last year, around 21 million new cars were sold in China. In such a set of circumstances, EV makers are getting tighter maneuvering space, so it's easy to predict that they'll continue to lose millions of dollars on a yearly basis. For most companies, finding a new investor seems harder than ever. Once again, we can refer to the biggest Chinese EV names such as NIO, Xpeng, and Li Auto, which have been losing a big portion of their value lately. According to some sources, their stocks went down by 40 to 65% over the last several months. Number 4. Price War with the EV growth slowing down and the overall car market that reached its peak long ago, it doesn't surprise that many companies are ready to do anything to remain on the market. With so many manufacturers out there, even the huge Chinese car market looks oversaturated, particularly when it comes to EVs, which account for about one-third of the total market in the world's second-largest population. Growth has also slowed down significantly and is now around 30% year over year, so the reservoir of new customers is obviously getting smaller and smaller, and therefore it doesn't surprise that most car makers decided to go into a price war. And no, we're not talking about some minor incentives such as free charging or free insurance, we're talking about massive discounts. This is the exhaustion war, where the biggest and most powerful companies believe that they can survive longer than the smaller ones and eventually take control of the market. The idea is to get out of this price war as a winner, but at the moment, everyone is losing tremendous amounts of money. Just take a look at the biggest players in the game. BYD slashed prices by 100% or more, while companies like Li Auto, Xpeng, GAC, and SAIC are also giving massive discounts. Moreover, it looks like the ongoing price war has forced foreign players to participate as well, as that's the only way to survive. For decades, the Volkswagen Group has been a dominant force in China, and now it's also forced to offer massive discounts, particularly on Audi models, which are now 50% cheaper than they used to be. The same thing is true with BMW, while Japanese companies like Toyota are also giving massive discounts on their vehicles. Number 3. BYD is in decline. BYD is by far the largest EV company in China and probably the only one that makes a profit on a regular basis. It's a company that's considered Tesla's biggest rival, both in terms of technology and sales numbers, but it also suffers from the domestic market oversaturation. Namely, the problem this company has is that it never managed to establish its position in the global market. 
It sells some cars in Australia and Europe, but the sales numbers are still far from good. As a result, 95% of its production ends up on the domestic market. And with the current slowdown, it doesn't surprise that the biggest players suffer the most. In February, the company sold just around 50,000 vehicles, which is a significant 37% drop compared to the same month last year. And it seems that the massive discounts don't help much, because a slight fall is expected for the entire year. With all that in mind, it doesn't surprise that the stock value has dropped 23% over the last 12 months, so Chairman and Chief Executive Wang Chanfi suggested that the company should buy back its shares in order to boost the stock price. According to the latest reports, the company will spend $55.6 million on buying A shares. Number 2. Big Players Struggle, Small Players Are Walking Dead when you see the biggest players struggling like that, you can only imagine how things look at smaller companies because of this massive market meltdown. Well, they struggle even more, but that's the process that's been lasting for years. Back in 2017, there were over 500 registered EV makers in China. Today, that number went down to around 90, but even this number is questionable because experts suggest that a good number of remaining manufacturers don't operate at all. Some of them manage to sell 500 vehicles quarterly, and others can't even accomplish that. Moreover, reports suggest that only 20 companies work at 60% or more of their production capacity. This doesn't come as a surprise if we consider that the top 10 EV sellers in China hold 80% of the market. As for the rest, they're pretty much dead and with the ongoing price war, there's no other outcome possible than to see most of them filing for bankruptcy. Number 1. The Bloodbath Has Begun We've been hearing warnings about the sea of blood coming to the Chinese EV industry for a while, and now we could say that it has come. Just take a look at the indicators we talked about in this video. The market is slowing down, stock prices are falling, and even the biggest players struggle. Want better proof? Just take a look at the most recent wave of bankruptcies. Only in the last few months, five or more EV makers declared bankruptcy, and we're not talking about some small fringe players on the market. No, we're talking about once promising companies such as Evergrande New Energy Auto, an EV company that's part of one of the largest conglomerates in China. Despite the monumental investments, this EV maker never managed to establish itself as a prominent player in the market. It may be because of the lack of technology, or maybe because it was a bad business model. In any case, the company declared bankruptcy. And plus, it turns out that the company has lost $17 million on every vehicle it ever sold. Then there's WM, a startup that had a respectable $5.3 billion start capital, but even that wasn't enough to establish a sustainable business model. Instead, the company is pretty much dead today, even though it's been pretty active in its quest for new investors. Speaking of investors, let's not forget to say a few words about the SAIC. This is a Chinese state-owned company, and it also struggles a lot. Moreover, it's also on a quest for new investors, and the fact that a state-owned company is now on the private market seems quite indicative in terms of the shape of the Chinese economy. The CEO of Li Auto, one of the leading EV companies, gave probably the best conclusion about the current state of the Chinese EV industry. He stated that companies need to join together or otherwise they won't survive, considering the oversaturated domestic market. He also stated that the government needs to act to prevent bankruptcies. Otherwise, most of the remaining companies will end their business pretty soon, especially after the price war started. The entire Chinese automotive industry is in panic mode, and now it's on the government to accept the new reality and act accordingly. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.